Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this week's video tutorial for Lightroom, I'm going to show you how you can create this visco inspired desaturated high contrast film preset look. Now as you can see, we've desaturated most of the colors, but we've taken the yellows and the oranges and give those a real pop to give some real sense of depth to the image. So I'm going to take you through and show you how to create this. If you want to get a quick start, you can simply use the preset that's freely available and the link is in the description below. But if you'd like to find out how to create this for yourself and how you can tweak it and adjust it to get it exactly the way you want it with your specific image, then stick around and take a look at how we can do that throughout this video. So this is our starting point and you can see it's quite different to the end result. Now as I go through this process you're going to see some of the different alterations I make are probably going to look a little bit rubbish in the image but once we go through the entire process you'll find it'll all come together. As always our presets are just the starting point and the same as this video tutorial. So what I recommend is follow this through then go back and tweak and adjust to get it to work exactly the way you want with your specific image. So let's start off in the develop module and we'll go to the basics panel and we're going to go through this step by step. So the first thing I want to do is I want to adjust the temperature of the image. I want to cool things down a little bit. So I'm going to take the temperature and we're going to drop this down to about minus 10 to 12 to sort of take out the blue tones which will work quite nicely. We're going to then take the tint and we're going to boost that by about plus 10 just to sort of give us a little bit of a magenta cast. And as you can see that's already starting to change the tone of the image. Next thing I want to do is just give this a slight exposure bump. Nothing too much, probably just over a third of a stop, maybe up to just under a half a stop. That's looking pretty good. I like that. Next up, we want to go to the contrast, and we're going to give it some serious bump in this. So we're going to take this up to about plus 80. Let's just give that a real punch. Like I say, we're aiming to get some real nice contrast in this. And you can see we already get some serious contrast in those windows and the darker areas of the image. So next up, let's go to the Highlight Shadows, Bites and Blacks. First of all, let's take those highlights and give those a serious bump up as well. I'm not bothered about the fact I'm going to blow this sky up. That's part of the effect that I want. I don't want to keep all the detail. I want that seriously high contrast effect. So I'm going to take these and push those right the way up. Around to about 90, 95. That's looking pretty good. So next up, let's take the shadows. Let's give those a bit of a bump up as well. So we can open out and keep some of the detail that we have in these windows. So we don't want to lose all of that detail just to black. But again, you can adjust this to your heart's content to get exactly what you want. Whites don't really need to be touched too much. Maybe drop those down a little bit, maybe a couple of percent. A couple of points. Oh, that should be fine. And the blacks, we're going to push those right the way up. Take those up to about plus 60. There we go. So we're getting some of that detail, but we're getting that high contrast effect in there. So the deep shadows are opened up a little bit. We've still got nice contrast in there. Next up, we're going to move on to the presence section. I'm going to leave the clarity as it is. I don't want to touch that. But we are going to take the vibrance and we're going to bump that up because what I want to do is the vibrance will affect the warmer tones of the image. So by giving those a boost, you'll see that the oranges start to become very overpowering. So let's take this up to about plus 65. And now we're going to counteract that oversaturation look by taking the saturation slider itself and dropping that down to about minus 60. And you can see what that does now is it desaturates most of the image, whereas the warmer tones in the in the, the photograph will still stand out. So we're getting almost black and white and other things, but the yellow and orange tones are still there. Now this might look a little bit washed out at the moment, but we're going to tweak the individual colors in a moment as well. So we've done the basics. Let's now jump down to the tone curve and do some work in there. So what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to take the black areas, we're going to flatten those out a little bit, and we're just going to get a nice curve to the, the tones in the image. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down to the bottom left-hand side, and we're going to grab the shadow area, and we're going to open those shadows up. We're going to flatten it down, give it a slight matte effect. To do that, all we need to do is come out the bottom left-hand corner and drag the point up. Don't want to go crazy with this, but I want to get that sort of slightly matte, flat effect to it. Let's add a couple more points in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a curve to sort of give us some tone in the, the mid-tones. Get that contrast boost in there. And that's kind of what we're looking to do. So... You can see before, 
on after. So we get that nice sort of flat matte effect to it. So that's all we want to do for the tone curve. Next thing we're going to do is now go through and start working on some of those colors. So let's jump down to the HSL panel. And let's go to the hue section first of all. We'll work through these individually. Now this is where it's a very subjective edit and it's going to be based upon any image that you use. So with this one, I want to take the hue of the taxi cabs and I want to change those a little bit. I don't really like the orange. I want to get more of a yellow tint to them. So let's just adjust those colors to get it roughly where I want it to be. So let's just boost those reds a little bit and open those oranges up. And you can see we now get closer to a yellow tone than we did before. So let's just undo that. You can see much more orange. There we're getting closer to that yellow tint that I'm after. So next, let's jump over to the saturation and we'll start making some adjustments there. So with these, I want to boost the reds up. We're going to pop those up quite a lot, up to about plus 70. We're going to do the same with the oranges. We're going to boost those up to about plus 65. We're going to take the yellows. I'm going to boost those up to about 55. And now I'm going to start adding some negative numbers in there because I want the yellow to be the sort of predominant colors in this. So that's going to keep the sort of sandstone tones in the buildings and the ready tints to there. It's going to keep the color in the wood, the taxis. But we want to play down the blues and the purples and the magentas and things in this image. So let's start reducing those down. We're going to take those down to about minus 70, 75 each. I'm going to be overly specific with these. We just want to drop those down to roughly that point. So you can see once we do that, we really start to take out those colors in the image. So we now start to reduce those blues and magentas and greens. Finally, let's jump over to the luminance setting and we do the same kind of thing. We're gonna take the reds, we're gonna boost those up to about plus 85 and you can see that really pumps up the tone in the cars and the buildings start to pop out again. With the orange, we're gonna take that and we're gonna drop that down a little bit. So I don't want the orange color, I want more yellows. So I wanna keep that Right about 35 minus 35 somewhere around there and the yellows we're going to boost that up so about plus 35 so they kind of counteracting we're reducing the orange we're bumping the yellow up by about the same amount now we're going to do with the take the greens and we're going to give that a slight drop but minus six seven somewhere around there and now we're going to take the aqua blues purple magentas we're going to take those down to about minus 70 and you'll see that'll make quite a noticeable difference to the various different shades in the image itself like I say, these are subjective and they're the kind of thing that are based upon the individual image that you're working with. But let's take a look at a before and after, and after with the HSL sliders. So there's where we were and there's where we are now. So you can see we've really changed the colors in the image quite nicely. So we've now got that really cool kind of desaturated look, a slight matte effect, and we've really pushed up the exposure and we've pushed up the brightness and the contrast. And so you've got a nice contrasty effect. Obviously, you can carry on and you can do more adjustments. You can apply uh, effects on this. You can go in if we wanted to and start applying things like vignettes to sort of draw attention to the center cab. You know, you can really tweak the image to get exactly what you want. But that's how we create this specific effect. So we've got that slightly desaturated, high contrast, visco kind of uh, preset or effect that I'm after. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you want the free preset, link is in the description below. So go and grab that. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.